G'day everybody. Well, it's time we had a bit more of a uh, muck around with some high intensity discharge lights. Uh, in this case, I found a uh, broken up street light on the side of the road and I managed to pillage out the uh, ballast and filter cap and igniter and also the metal halide lamp out of it. There's just specs on it there. It's only a 70 watt lamp. It was a fairly small uh, light that it came out of, but it should be fun to play around with. It's got an E27 base on it. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was just sitting there, and I thought it couldn't resist the temptation to uh, at least save this stuff from it. Considering, especially here where I am in Melbourne, they don't actually uh, repair street lights; they just pull them off and throw them straight in the bin, which is a bit unfortunate. But um, anyway, at least I was able to save a few good things from them. There's just specs on the uh, the ballast, which is an Australian-made Atco. In fact, Atco is one of the uh, the few companies that still make uh, ballast transformers here in uh, here in Melbourne. I drive past their factory occasionally, but there's your uh, your filter cap details. There, it's an eight microfarad, two fifty volt AC, and there's your uh, your igniter specs. I've just uh, I didn't. This isn't the uh, the fitting that went with the lamp. This is just another one from that heat lamp unit. But uh, since it's ceramic, it will do perfectly for the uh, the test. It's even got the uh, the white and blue marked out for me already, which is good. But uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to wire a power cord to it, wire it all up, and uh, hopefully it should work. Um, also, a shout out to Energy Fabricator. Yes, your uh, blades arrived yesterday. And I'd like to thank you again for those, because these are going to make opening packages really uh, easy now. And uh, yeah, they're uh, never seen them before, but they're uh, they look definitely look promising. So yes, yeah, thank you for those. Um, <coughs> anyway, let's uh, get this all set up and see what happens. Alrighty, we are ready for a test run. Got it all wired up correctly. Now remember, it's actually important to have sunglasses when you uh, play around with these, especially inside because they are outdoor uh, lighting lamps and uh, yeah, they are kind of bright, but uh, here we go, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Yep, we're going. Beautiful blue colour. Yeah, it's just warming up, slowly. Remember, this thing hasn't been running God knows how long, so it'll take a while to, uh, to warm up. But yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, it's doing really nicely now. Oh yeah, it's getting really bright. <laughs> the camera's kind of freaking out. Yeah, that's that's working good. I'm really pleased with that. I should stick it out. Wait till it gets dark, and I'll stick it outside at night and see how it goes. That's working really good now. That's really bright. He yeah, excuse the chicken in the background, they're demanding more food. But yeah, that's, uh, that's doing good. You can feel the heat from it all the way here. It's a tiny little bowl, but it gets warm. I'm going to leave this run for a bit and just uh, let it wear itself in. Um, and then I might... Uh, See if I can fit it into this. I made this thing when I was about 14 years old. I'm close up at the moment. But that's a um, reflector for a just a 240 volt AC light. I might see if I can fit that in it and fit the ballast on the back end, make a nice little uh, work light. Possibilities are endless with things like this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for tons more fun stuff.